Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a stocking stuffer ideas slash what I got my kids for their stockings this year. I have a two-year-old son and a four-month-old baby girl, so I'm gonna have both stocking stuffers for a two-year-old as well as a four-month-old. I'm really excited to film this video, you guys, because I love stockings. Growing up, my mom always made stockings super amazing and wonderful. She always made them really unique for each kid. She always put like different little things in for each child, and I just loved that about my mom. She always made it so special, so I want to do that for my kids and make them unique for them and just make it like a special thing, you know what I mean? And I didn't spend a ton of money on stocking stuffers, which I was really excited about. I'm trying to keep things under a certain budget, but I am so excited to share it with you guys. But before I hop into this video, I did want to mention that it is in collaboration with a friend of mine. Her name is Adeline Zook. She has three beautiful, beautiful, beautiful little girls, you guys. They are adorable. She has an amazing house. She is actual like farmhouse decor goals. I'm not even kidding. Go follow her on Instagram. Her house is beautiful. I am so jealous. She also does a lot of similar content to mine. She does cleaning and decor and lifestyle vlogs. And most importantly, she is just such a wonderful person, such a sweetheart. She is so raw and real on her channel and I love that about her. You don't really find that a whole lot on YouTube and I really respect her for that and I just love her and I know you guys will too. She is also going to be doing a stocking stuffer video over on her channel so be sure to go check that out. I'm going to leave all of her links in the description box below. Okay, so I'm actually going to start with my daughter first because I only got her a couple of things y'all she's a baby she doesn't need a ton of stuff she doesn't even know like anything about Christmas so I just didn't really get her a whole bunch of stuff I mostly just got her little things that I think she would really like or needed so the first thing I got her and this intrigued me because I've seen people use these and it is a teething mitt and I never had one of these with Barrett um, but I've seen a lot of people talk about these and it was really cute. I had a little pineapple on it and I just thought it would be really great for her because she does chew on her hands a lot. She's at that age. So I thought that would be really cool for her. I also just got her this little unicorn plush, guys. I just thought it was cute. I mean, it doesn't really serve a purpose, but... And then for Savannah, which is my daughter's name, I got her this little, um, I guess it's like a bath time book. So it's like waterproof and whatever, but it's got this like little person back here. I don't know. I just thought it was cute. Something for her to kind of hold on to in the bathtub. Her brother has all of the bath toys and she doesn't have any of her own. So this is her very first bath toy. And then the last thing I got Savannah are just some socks. She needed some socks. All of her socks are like the zero to three month size and they all fall off because they're too small. And I just wanted some plain solid colors because she wears a lot of prints. Um, and I just feel like solids match a lot better with outfits. All right, moving on to my toddler. I'm really excited for a lot of the stuff that I got him. I know he's going to love this stuff, you guys. Like, I'm just, I'm so excited. Oh, and I forgot to mention, everything that I got my daughter was from Target. Um, the unicorn was in the dollar spot. Everything else was in the baby section. So the first thing that I got my son is this little ball popper. And if you guys have already been following me, you've seen this before. Um, but basically this little ball, I think, just pops out of its nose. Like you squeeze it and it pops out. And I think my son would have a lot of fun with that. And then I just got him this like little snowman. It doesn't do anything. It's just like squishy. But he loves like little people and characters and stuff. He likes to put them in his truck. So he'll probably have the snowman in his truck at some point. <laughs> then I got him this little coloring book. My son's been really into coloring lately and it's festive so why not but it's really cute it just has little like pages for them to color on that are christmas themed and all of those things are from the target dollar spot as well as this little lacing activity which i think you sorry you can probably see my ring light i think that this would be really fun for him he's never done a lacing activity before but I feel like he would have a lot of fun with this because he's very into like putting like little things into stuff. And so I feel like he'd have a lot of fun with this. They did have an elf version, but I was trying to get things that weren't so like I was trying to get things that weren't all Christmas themed because 
once Christmas Day is here, Christmas is over. So he can use this for a while. And this was also in the Target dollar spot. Okay, the next thing for my son is just this little um, train set. It comes with six, no, it comes with, <laughs> I can't count. It comes with four track pieces and then a train. But I got this from the Dollar Tree. My son loves trucks, trains, all things boy. So I know that he's gonna love this. <laughs> also from the Dollar Tree, I got my son this little like Santa. Uh, if I'm being honest, I don't really know what it does, but I think my son will just have fun like waving it around like a crazy person. But it says it's like a solar steak light. So I'm almost pretty sure you're supposed to put these outside, but <laughs> we're using it for my toddler. I also got my son a little stuffed animal. I had two just because I got Savannah one as well. And I actually have two because I originally got Savannah one, which I'll probably still put this one in her stocking as well. But I got both of these little plushes from the Dollar Tree. They had a whole bunch of different ones, you guys. And you can't go wrong for a dollar, I feel like. Yeah, it might be like junky kind of toys, but that's what kids like. All right, and then the last two things that I got from my son's stocking, but I don't think that they're going to fit in his stocking. I could take them out, but I don't really think I want to do that. Um, I got him some wood food. Target Dollar Spot, you guys, they have so many cute little, like, little wood food sets. So if you guys have a kitchen or something, this would be really great for it. We do plan on getting the kids... Um, a play kitchen probably next Christmas so that Savannah can play with it too um, but I thought that was really cool so this one is waffles eggs bacon and a strawberry and then I also got him a pizza as well and it comes with a little pizza cutter so I thought that was cute for three bucks I mean and it looks like it's pretty good quality it kind of reminds me of like Melissa and Doug products which is pretty cool because Melissa and Doug's kind of expensive in my opinion. Um, but like I said, I don't think that these are going to fit in his stockings. So I'm probably just going to have to wrap them separately. But if you guys have like bigger stockings, this would be perfect. And yeah, you guys, that is all of my kids stocking stuffers. I know it seems like my son got way more than my daughter. But she's just at that kind of age where I feel like getting her a bunch of stuff is kind of pointless. Because she is so little. I hope this gave you guys some inspiration or ideas for your little one's stockings. All of this stuff can be found in the Target Dollar Spot or the Dollar Tree. Both really great places for stocking stuffers as well as Walmart. I did not get a chance to get to Walmart um, I don't like taking my kids to Walmart by myself because I just feel like Walmart's always really crowded. And so I stuck with Target and Dollar Tree. But Walmart is another place with really great stocking stuffers. Anyways, you guys, that is going to be it for this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it because I had so much fun making it. And make sure you guys go check out Adeline's video right after this one and let her know that I sent you. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in my next one.